Hey everyone, welcome again, day two with our Rhine River cruise, and it was a huge day today, uh, another 33 odd k's, uh, really hot, uh, and loads of castles and loads of walking up and down hills, so it was pretty uh, tiring, but anyway, that's that's how it goes, so here we go, so if I can find my map, I'm not disappearing, so let's just drag down here out of the way, and uh, so Today we uh, went from Rudsum and Rhine uh, and rode up through the valleys here uh, all the way up here to St. Gore. Uh, that was the ride today. It was some really great scenery. So uh, before we did that last night, I was wandering around and came across this ruined bridge. It was the Hindenburg Bridge, which is just near where we stayed in Rudsum. And uh, it was a destroyed in World War Two remnants of it so that was a really interesting sort of find just as i was uh, exploring after dinner last night anyway on to today we had to get a ferry across uh the river to the other side of the bank to a tank uh so we jumped on the ferry across and uh just over the river was one of the uh, old cranes from the 1400s they used to use to uh, load the wine on the barges and that so that's pretty interesting it was closed unfortunately so we couldn't get in to see it's just a beautiful view from the uh the castle in Bingen. Uh, this is the Eraldon uh, Castle, and this is a place called the Mouse Tower, which we'll look at a bit more closely. This is obviously the Rhine River. Uh, it's up of that uh, castle ruin, as it is now. All the um, grape pines growing on the uh, sunny slopes of the uh, valley. There's us two bozos. Uh, they're done for a change, not many of us together. And this was the uh, where the... the Government now seats in um, again. This is up at the castle, up on the hill, so they've got a pretty nice place and that uh, aspect. This was a really different church in Bingen that was was nice. We didn't get to go, and it was locked, unfortunately. Uh, and this is the Mouse Tower, like I said in Eraldon uh, Castle, which is now a ruin. Um, this Mouse Tower was uh, used uh, to collect tolls and things on the river. Uh, uh, this was another little village that we saw as we were um, uh, riding along. The, we rode parallel with the river the whole way today. And um, this is one of the local Bingen ferries. Um, you can go from a uh, little town to little town. This was, we walked up the castle, really high up a hill. We ended up not being able to get into as it turned out. Uh, Rice Stein, uh, it had like chains for a drawbridge and that. That was pretty cool. Uh, that was uh, the top of, top of it where we had to walk up to. It took a little while. You can see it there from the road. Uh, There's another castle just down the road a bit called Reckenstein. Uh, able to get into that one, but it looked really uh, spectacular from, um, from the road path, the path where we were riding. And then we went to a town called Backfrack, uh, like Bert Backerack, Boza, uh, right on the river. Beautiful town. We had lunch there. Some really, really nice buildings, as you can see here. Just really, really pretty. Um, so we had a nice bit of a time there. There's a ruin of a, a chapel just uh, near the square, up at the top there. And there's a castle on top of the hill, which I think is a you know, ladder photo, which is now a youth hostel. People can go and stay in the youth hostel. So, correct, uh, lovely. This was the, the church as well in Bacharach. Really, really pretty and nice. And this is one of the um, gates into the town. Defensive wall they used to have all the way around it. Um, but as you can see, the flower boxes and that just really, really nice. That's a little hotel, uh, and that's the uh, castle that's now a um, youth hostel. You can go and stay there um, for a few bucks. I think I don't know how much it is. A few euro. Uh, we continued on. Uh, this is another um, polling uh, place for the river from back in the 1400s. They used to run a chain from here across to the shore, put in the water. When a boat came, they'd raise the chain so the boat could come through. They would have to pay a toll. Of course, ubiquitous castle also overlooking uh, proceedings. Uh, this was a, another little town we stopped called Seville. Um, wine is very popular here, as you can tell, in this little town. The big goblet there, town hall, and again, the flower boxes, creating a square. And it, of course, has its own castle as well. There's uh, another nice building in that town. And this is a big bend in the river coming around to our final destination, which was St. Goa. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Lots of camping along the Rhine River. There's loads and loads of camping grounds. You can see lots of um, camp vans and caravans. Germans love their uh, 
cycling and they're camping. So there's loads and loads of camping grounds around, which was quite interesting. And there's some beaches along the river too, which was quite uh, unusual. We didn't expect to see. This is a view of St. Goa here and St. Goa Housen. This is our boat that we're moored for tonight where I'm doing this uh, little video from. And there's our boat. You see all the bikes here lined up at the end of the day. Uh, they'll be ready to go tomorrow morning when we head off to Koblenz. And again, a lovely castle up on the hill overlooking things. The castle is actually owned now by a Japanese businessman. Uh, he bought it to develop into a hotel. Uh, that didn't happen, and now he just lives there, and it's not open to the public, so we can't uh, go in there. Uh, that's the castle at St. Goa, which is uh, an old ruin now and a hotel. And this is the other side of the river where the boat is moored. And that's the Caps Castle, the Japanese businessmen, and this is just another tower in the in the town. So it's uh, very nice. And just to finish things off, there's me with the bike, just to prove that I am riding, and a little welcome sign into the uh, the town. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you all again tomorrow after our ride to Koblenz, which will be really fun. Okay, have a good night, Bye, guys.